incubus and succubus spirits are their sexual spirit demons and they are real many many years ago maybe about 20 or so years ago i was home and i received a phone call from a woman she was very very sad she proceeded to tell me about these demons who were attacking her at night. I cannot sleep, she said. My husband is lying beside me, sound asleep, and is not even awakened by the spirit husband who comes in. I cannot resist it either. It is as if it rapes me. She was crying because she could not sleep. I told her to come to my house. I said, come over to my house. When she got to my house, she proceeded to show me the scars on her body that the claws of incubus made on her breasts, her shoulders, her back, her arms, and her belly. If you're hearing the story for the first time, you probably won't believe it. But when she showed me those marks, that was a confirmation. She slept at my house that night. I actually had a second, uh, a, like a day bed in my bedroom and I, and I told her sleep there. In the middle of the night, she was snoring so heavily, she was sleeping. The next morning, she told me that it was the best and the sweetest sleep she had gotten in years. The following night, she went to her house. She told me that the next morning that the demons almost killed her. She said the demon actually said, why did you go to that woman's house? I could not even come there. So I told her that she should come right back. You should have come right back to my house. The rest is history. And so in ministry, I... You know, I have been praying for people and uh, many of my listeners have been calling and they have been saying, Sister Jean, I am unable to sleep at night because of these sexual demons. And I wanted to let you guys know that if you have a demon really cannot enter your house unless he has legal right to that house. So, I say to people, sexual demons are attracted by pornography, pornography, by masturbation. A lot of those things that are carried out in your, in your bedroom, in your living room, and all these things. If you do these places, if you do these things, my friends, you are inviting these sexual demons in your home and in upon your body if you had a friend come to your house and for some reason he had a disagreement and he or she left say for example a phone there and she comes back and she knocks on your you know she rings your doorbell and you answered and you said no i'm not letting you in you're not i don't want you here and she said i left my phone i just need my phone let me come and get my phone if you didn't hand that phone over to her and she calls the police, the police comes. Upon the police's arrival, they're going to ask, do you have anything in the house for her? And if you said, yes, I have her phone, the police officer is going to proceed with the case by telling you to hand her property over to her. She has all legal right to come to your house for what belongs to her. So it is with demons. You can use this this physical to understand the spiritual a little bit better so whatever you have in your home if you have been masturbating if you have been watching pornography and you have been committing fornication adultery any kind of sexual perversion then the enemy has a right until you give up that legal ground to come back to your home we're gonna pray 
And I'm going to try to pray as slowly as I can so that you guys can understand. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you. I acknowledge you as holy and righteous. I have sinned against you in my body and now the rewards are haunting me. Father, I repent of every sexual sin that I have committed in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ, the righteous. Forgive me, Lord, of all my sins. For it is written, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I stand now because of the shed blood of Jesus to renounce every sexual sin, sin of pornography, sin of masturbation, adultery, fornication, sexual fantasies, sexual fetishes, bestiality, sexual perversion. I renounce sex during sleep in the name of Jesus. No kissing or fondling during sleep in the name of Jesus. I cut every tie I might have to these sexual demons or sexual spirits in the name of Jesus. I command my spirit and my and I command spirit wife and spirit husbands to leave me now in Jesus name. Mighty God, I cut, I sever my spirit from spirit wife and spirit husbands in the name of Jesus. I no longer need your influence, your tie, your influence, your manifestation and infestation is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord Jesus, through the power of the Holy Ghost, let your blood wash me and cleanse me from every thought and act of sexual sins with any demon in the name of Jesus. Wash my stomach, wash my reproductive organs, wash my reproductive system with your blood, wash my mouth with your blood, oh Shanda, wash my eyes with your blood, and mighty God, any other body part that these demons may have used for entry and exit in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash them and make them clean. Almighty oh, God, every orifice that these demons may have used in the past. I pray now, Lord, that you will wash it with your blood and cover it in the name of Jesus. Close these doors against demonic entrance and exits in the name of Jesus. I give up every legal right. I give up every legal claim they may have on me in the name of Jesus. I declare this day I have been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and I have been made clean by his word. Come now, Holy Spirit, please indwell my body. Take full control of every area of my life. Fill me up and let me overflow with you. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest. Oh, hallelujah. And findeth none. Then, the, then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished holy spirit faithful guide holy spirit dwell with me abide in me and i will abide in you then will i be secured from the enemy's devices to sift me to regain my soul i place the armor the full armor of god upon me in the name of jesus i pray lord Protect me this day. When I sleep, protect me. Please, Lord, close the gates and doors to my sleep and to my dreams so no sex demons or any other evil, foul spirit or seducing spirit can come in. Saturate me in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord my banner, cover me in the name of Jesus. Father, Whenever I fall into sin, 
let the revealer of secrets, the blessed comforter, let him nudge my conscience and guide my heart and my lips in repentance and confession to you. Holy Spirit, please do a deep cleansing, a deep cleaning of my home, of my apartment and of my room. Reveal to me any doll, any toy, any object, any clothing, any tapes or books that attract these demons so I can burn them in the name of Jesus Christ. Consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate my dwelling place to make this dwelling and me conducive for your presence in the name of Jesus. Please, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh, my strength and my redeemer. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for complete deliverance. Thank you for sweet, sweet sleep that is undisturbed. Thanks for dreams and visions and angelic visitations guided by the Holy Ghost. Thanks for hearing. Thanks for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.